Could the policies of Justin Trudeau be a turning point for the Canadian economy? Today, we'll delve into this intriguing question, shedding light on the potential impacts of Trudeau's policies on the Canadian economy compared to those of his predecessors. Firstly, let's immerse ourselves into the world of Trudeau's economic strategy. His approach has been marked by an emphasis on social welfare, environmental sustainability and an inclusive economy. Trudeau's administration has been characterized by significant investments in infrastructure, a push for gender equality, and a commitment to combat climate change, all while trying to maintain economic stability. Now let's journey back to the era of Stephen Harper, Trudeau's immediate predecessor. Harper's focus was primarily on fiscal prudence, reducing government spending and promoting free trade. His tenure was marked by a significant reduction in the federal debt and the negotiation of numerous international trade agreements. But how do these two distinct policy approaches translate into impact on the Canadian economy? Under Trudeau, Canada has seen investments in infrastructure that promise long-term economic benefits. However, these have also led to a rise in public debt. His focus on social welfare and environmental sustainability has been lauded by many, but critics argue that these policies could potentially slow down economic growth. In contrast, Harper's policies contributed to a reduction in federal debt and promoted economic stability, however, critics argue that his focus on fiscal prudence came at the expense of social welfare and environmental sustainability. So, what does this mean for the Canadian economy? Trudeau's policies could potentially lead to a more inclusive and sustainable economy in the long run. However, the short-term costs and the increasing public debt cannot be ignored. On the other hand, while Harper's policies promoted fiscal stability, they may have overlooked the long-term benefits of social welfare and environmental sustainability. In conclusion, the potential impact of Trudeau's policies on the Canadian economy can be summarized in three main points. Firstly, his focus on infrastructure could lead to long-term economic benefits, but at the cost of increasing public debt in the short term. Secondly, his commitment to social welfare and environmental sustainability could potentially slow down economic growth in the short term, but could lead to a more inclusive and sustainable economy in the long run. Lastly, in comparison to Harper's policies, Trudeau's approach may seem less focused on fiscal prudence, but it emphasizes the long-term benefits of social welfare and environmental sustainability. It's clear that Trudeau's policies represent a different approach to managing the Canadian economy, one that is more focused on long-term sustainability and inclusivity. The question that remains is whether this approach will yield the desired outcomes and whether the Canadian economy will be able to absorb the short-term costs associated with these policies. As always, the future remains fascinatingly uncertain.